In today's tricky times, a family with three kids is already labeled large and generally in need of some backup from the state and the family. Raising even more offspring is a job for real-life superheroes, but if you are a grand ruler in ancient times or the medieval ages, you're not exactly sweating over your kids' education, upbringing or heck even their basic survival. Plus, when it comes to birth control, abstinence was pretty much your only option and let's face it, that's a no-go for a VIP in the ancient world. And sure, throughout different eras, families generally had more kids than we do today. But some historical figures really knock your socks off with their fertility stats. Take Ramses II, for instance. This Egyptian pharaoh had a modest harem of just eight wives. But the number of his kids hold on to your heads. Some records suggest he fathered 50 sons and 48 daughters. Other claim the guy had up to 80 sons and 50 daughters. Ramses lived a pretty long life, kicking the bucket at the ripe old age of 90. For ancient Egypt, that's like living to 250 years nowadays. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure if they kept count of all his kids, and relying on ancient Egyptian sources isn't exactly foolproof, but let's roll on. Another fascinating character is King Sobuza II. He stepped onto the throne of Swaziland when he was just a kid of 4 months old in 1899. By the way, Sobuza II is known as the monarch with the longest reign in history, 82 years and 254 days. He had 70 wives and around 210 children. Nobody can tell you for sure because counting such a gaggle of kids is pretty much impossible. It's believed that in the twilight of King Sabuza's II life, he had over 1,000 grandkids. Talk about an interesting African family dynamic. Augustus the Strong, who lived in the 17th century, didn't earn his nickname solely for his physical power, if you catch my drift. Official records credit Augustus the Strong with just one legitimate son, but those were the days when kids weren't limited to the legged variety. Historians reckon that he fathered at least 365 children, that's likely why they called him the Strong by all accounts. You will find tales of the Moroccan Sultan Ismail ibn Sharif fathering 888 kids. But there is no concrete proof of this anomaly and reliable information about the Sultan's life is just unavailable, so we won't dwell on this. A far more intriguing case is that of Genghis Khan. This famed Mongolian ruler wasn't just a brilliant military strategist and creator of one of the greatest empires in Eurasia, he was also the father to an unbelievable number of children. Historians attribute around 1,000 offspring to him. Genghis Khan spent his life conquering territories. From every settlement his Mongol army crushed, he picked the most beautiful women for his harem. He had hundreds of wives. You might think, given that Genghis Khan lived nearly a millennium ago, historical facts could be quite dodgy and imprecise. But there is genetic research that proved around 0.5% of the planet's current population share a Y chromosome from a Mongolian man who lived about 1000 years ago. This means that one in every 200 people on Earth that's about 35 million people, are direct descendants of Genghis Khan. Can you imagine what these rulers would say if they were actually held accountable for their parental duties? Don't forget to follow the Inspired History channel and don't miss our new videos.